Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's actually mad close to the last time I filmed the other video. I know, it's a complete shocker. I'm usually not on my shit at all. But today we got the curated heat market, so I ended up having to kind of film the video for it just so you guys could see. It's gonna be a really dope day. I talked about it a little bit in my last video. It's in St. Petersburg, Florida, so if you guys aren't available for this one, make sure you guys follow my Instagram. Check out their Instagram. That way you guys know when the next one's coming up. Right now, I'm kind of frantically packing up all of my stuff just because we just came back from Miami, so it's just like a lot of hectic things. I had to run over to my storage unit, so you'll see a quick little time lapse of that. I've already packed up my car a little bit. Uh, I'm meeting my boy Noah, who's also in the last video. We're gonna be doing the booth together. We ended up getting the booth for $37, I think it was, each. I don't know, I think it was 75 total. $37 each, so it was felt like a no-brainer to me. Hopefully, we'll at least make our money back. But I'm super excited for today. Hopefully, I meet a lot of y'all. I'm gonna head over to the storage unit, get the rest of my car packed up, and you'll see what happens. So the car's packed up. It's a little bit ghetto, but it kind of works. So this big thing right here is a whiteboard. I don't really know why we're bringing it, but me and Noah just thought it was a good idea. Maybe we can write some like our Instagram handles or TikTok or I don't even know. But speaking of that, if you want any of that, all that information is gonna be on this side right here. Um, like it up, share it. I really appreciate it. It genuinely makes me able to like do what I do and I can't be thankful enough for it. We got two bins because we're doing a two for 10 and a five for 20 yeah i think that's the deal two for ten five for 20 deal which is fucking insane that's an awesome price then i got my grails which is like you know anything like a hundred dollars plus um and then i got a bunch of like just cooler teas that are cheaper um just because i don't want to bring a lot of really super expensive stuff i mean that's not fair to the people who are going there who don't like collect vintage they just really want to just wear vintage so i have a lot of that stuff for them the fact that i got all of this in here is genuinely a surprise to me i have one rolling rack Noah's bringing four of them and a canopy and all of his stuff somehow. I don't know how that works. I forgot the fucking table, like a jackass. So we might just have to improvise. I don't know. It's kind of unfortunate, but we'll figure it out. It'll, it'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, you know? I think I got everything else in here. The table was just hard because I, I literally like was like driving away and I remembered it and then I was like, damn, I, I just don't need this. Like I said earlier, the vent's in St. Pete, so we have like a 30, 35 minute drive in front of us, which kind of sucks, but uh, it'll be like two seconds for you, so I mean, that's the good news. Uh, it'll probably be me seeing Noah. Hopefully you guys clown on him in the comments. I appreciate it in the last video. Always clowning on Noah is my favorite thing to do, but I guess we'll see you when we get there. So I decided to end up going back and getting the table just because we have so many shoes, so I kind of really figured I needed to. Um, but I had to grab my Lost Threads Coast on anyway, but I know. N next jump, next jump club, I promise. We made it to Noah's house and I'm greeted by the absolute worst car of all time sitting right in front of me. Just look at that piece of shit. Gar rice, oh my god. Slam. What's up? What's well, good? Pop tag. Follow my mans, obviously. Shit on his car. Holy crap, I just almost just died in that, bro. We going right now? What time do we have to get there at? Uh, we have to get there at like, they said 10, 10.30. Oh yeah, we should, right probably, we should probably go right now. Yeah. Jump cut. Okay, so a lot has happened since I jump cut. We just kind of had to get here and set up really fast because we got here late. But honestly, like the setup of the booth is really fucking sick and low key, I think, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to have like preference or anything like that, but low key, I think our booth is the best. The booths go on this whole entire strip right here. So, I mean, there's just so much vintage. Honestly, like I'll, I'll let you guys know on my Instagram story, my TikTok when the next one's going on, but this is insane. The back of our booth looks fucking sick as well. Don't even talk to me. I'll show off some of the other booths, but it's kind of just loud, so I'm probably gonna go in there. But this is just kind of the outside of our booth. We got shoes in the back, bangers on the front, you know the deal. My beautiful girlfriend right there. And then we got Jet, Slime. Slime, what you gotta say, bro? Come out here. It's hot. Every purchase, you get a free water. Let's go. Look at all the bangers. Come on. Look at my boy Jet. Look at sexy as freak. Look at him. Well, I'm a yeah, pop out. It's been so hard to film here because it's been wicked hot. So just excuse me, but we sold I think, two pairs of shoes so far. I think I sold one for 90, one for 150, and then I sold 
I don't know, a few bits and bobs here. I think we're gonna go around. We lowballing Jet? We lowballing? Me and my boy Jet, we're gonna lowball. So if we get a low ball, I mean, you, you just, just drop a like on the video. It's hot as here. I'm hanging out with this kid. Look what he just did to me. That was on camera, bro. They Good. saw that. Good. That was supposed to be on camera. Yeah. What? <laughs> this man, this man really just finessed. Yo, what's happening? I didn't finesse. It what was happened? a good deal. It was a good deal. Uh, I, I had this fawn tea. I had this back stock coat tea. Picture still be on the screen. I sold them, and I sold them. Oh, they're not here anymore, as you can see. Uh, sold them for like four fifty. Gang, gang. Four fifty. Yeah. That shit's crazy. Uh, he picked up that spawn tea for thirty dollars, and then he got the other one from the bins for a dollar and traded it for that for the tea that he sold. So he ended up spending thirty-one dollars and turned it into five hundred bucks. <laughs> and he did it. And he's an idiot. Stupid. This place has like literally been ransacked though. Like this, this thing we got, we're on like some ghetto shit. Like this shit keeps breaking, but it's all, it's all good. We're running through it. So with the bangers, we sold some shoes. My girl sold something, he sold something. Then we got $10 jerseys because I'm so tired of getting jerseys. If anybody wants jerseys, comment on this video, I got you. Drop a comment, tell me what jerseys you want. I'll send it out to you. I'll pick one comment, I'll send it out. What are we doing, Jet? Low volume people. Is that, is that right to do? Like, is it a bad thing? It's not bad, but like, you know, you gotta, get, you gotta do what you gotta do. Basically, basically right now, it's, it's about the place about to close up. So people got teas that they definitely just don't want to drive home with. So me and Jet, we're gonna walk around, and Bianca, and we're gonna find some stuff. Scanning. That people just wanna get rid of. For really cheap. And if they yell at us, they yell at us. It is what it is. But here we go. Trade, Trade one of the day, we got. The for the Wiley Cody with the back hit, racer. Yeah, Fruit of the Loom, that's a personal. Wiley yeah, Cody, that's my racer. favorite. Racer. Yeah. Well. That one will be on site, Lost Reds Co. And my boy picked up. So <laughs> hit him with it. Hit him with it. Ah! Oh, the, the Jordan with the back hit. Yeah, get him the tattoo. Yo, pop tags all. Pop. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you, man. Second trade of the day, my boy. You want to plug yourself real quick? Yeah, SC Kicks official on Instagram. Perfect, bro. I got you. Yeah. Got the Royals, and we trade them for. Pollen ones. We already had the Royals on site, so we just wanted to switch it up a little bit, but the boy hooked it up. So shout out. Thank Good you. looks, bro. My man's pulled up. He wants the Oscar De La Hoya. It's something he, I literally just traded for it the other day. I think I posted it on my Instagram. I don't know. We're doing 80 and we're doing 50. He's going to call it midair. When you flip it, whatever it lands on, that's it. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Tails. Tails it is. G shit, bro. G shit. All, right. All day. Well, appreciate you. All right, so I finally found somebody cool enough to me to trade for the rest of my like $5 bins. My homie, he's gonna end up trading me this. Tampa Bay Lightning, front and back hit on the Logo Athletic. I know. Tell me how much I get finesse. It's all good. Feel pop tag, you wanna shout out? Uh, yeah, I got a little yeah, card here. Libby there Tampa. you go, yes Uncle sir. Saint Pete. Hit him up, bro. And just like that, the pop-up is over. Street, now empty. Back to a normal boring street with a decent mural. How'd you do, babe? Mm. Did you get anything cool though? Like a like a cool crew neck? Did I you? didn't get the better. Well, they sold it, so there's nothing I can do about it. Shit, my baby is French fried. I, I'm sorry. How'd you do? I didn't sell How'd you do? I did pretty amazing. I think I did better than this guy. Okay. Again, I think I'm two for zero. Congratulations! Congratulations! He was like, he was like, yo, you buy that, you I'll bring you to the back, you know. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. That's gay. You can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? How'd you do, Jack? Bro, I made a couple sales, some small sales. Wish I made some bigger ones, but hey, next time. He's about to sell me this freaking Tomb Raider. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen. It's gonna be on my website by tomorrow, so it'll be like right there. You know, like how let's get it. But probably gonna do like a wrap-up video of what I actually ended up getting. It's probably just gonna be a jump cut, maybe like a cool little time lapse if I'm feeling edgy, but that's pretty much it. Well, I guess this is the outro because the last video I had got corrupted, and that's tough. So. I kind of just, I don't even, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rerun through everything. Basically that event was awesome. I can show kind of on the screen right here what I ended up making around what I spent, how much money I brought in. I think it comes out to like 350, something like that. I ended up paying 37 for that spot. So I mean, that's $300 profit. We were there all, we were there set up. I mean, it was going from 11 to four. So that's five straight hours there. Um, I met a ton of really cool people. I got a ton of stuff. So obviously you saw on the screen, it's not that I just made 350, I bought some stuff, I traded some stuff, you know, it It just happens when you're at these events, as much as you try not to, it just kind of goes on. I actually ended up trading this Jordan tee, you'll see it like somewhere on the screen. I traded it for this Wiley Coyote t-shirt right here. Wiley is just my favorite Looney Tunes character, so any of the stuff I grab of his, I always do. This is a single stitch on an old through the loom with a little bit of distressing. 
he valued his at 90. I valued that Jordan T at 125. So I was like, look, bro, you can either give me the 35 cash on top or just give me a T, you value like 50 bucks, you know, a little bit more than 35 to make it worth my while. And he came back to me with something I did not expect. I love these crazy AOP NASCAR t-shirts. I'm not sure who this one is. So if somebody can help me out in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. But front and back hit, US Army, super, super sick NASCAR tee. He valued it at 50, I valued a little bit above that. Um, so that'll probably be on my restock coming October 31st. Make sure you guys check that out, of course. They are planning on doing another one next month. So make sure you guys are following my Instagram because I'll be posting it on my story over there. Um, turn noties on if you fuck with me. Nope. Make sure you guys are checking that out for real because there's that's like a great place to get vintage. If you're just getting into vintage, that's such an awesome place to understand the community, meet some people. I mean, obviously there's not all, not all of the people there are good, but you know, there's good people out there who can help you with what you're doing, hook you up with deals, get you shit that you actually really mess with. I mean, like this crew neck is a great example. Pick that one up at the last flea mart I went. Stupid. Pick that one up at the last flea market I went to and it's honestly just, it's my mom's favorite Disney character. I, you know, I get it because it reminds me of my mom. Shout out, you know, shout out Mama Bennett right there. Um, but honestly, like stuff like I got this for $15, you know, and it, it goes for like maybe 25, I don't know, but it's something cool that like people don't usually wear. You don't usually see that. You usually see Hollister tees and you see like people who look like that. No. Nope. Honestly, vintage is just a great way to like kind of just put whatever style you're at. After kind of today, my car is just wrecked with stuff. It's all over the place. Everything's all disorganized. So I'm literally at my storage unit just going through everything right now. Um, repricing, redoing. So the website might be up by the time you go to this video. I know I'm gonna do a drop October 30th, so make sure you guys see that as well. But I don't know if the website's actually gonna be up and running by the time I post this video. It just kinda depends on how long it takes for me to edit. Uh, I'm just trying to get some pricing done, figure out my mystery boxes, catch up on a word, because I've been on vacation and my apartment's been fumigated. It's just been a lot of stuff going on. Hurry up! We're losing time! So I'm kinda taking a moment to just stop, figure everything out, reorganize everything. I'm trying to put some really good stuff on the website instead of just kind of like some mid stuff that you can kind of get yourself at thrift stores. Um, I don't want to be like the one selling stuff that normally people pick up at thrift stores. Like I'm obviously still gonna pick it up, but I'd rather sell it in a mystery box and sell it for $5 a piece than sell it on my website for 15. You know, it just makes more sense. I'm paying so little for it. I don't need to make a huge markup on it. I'd rather get it to somebody who's actually gonna like it and actually gonna wear it. That market was a great place to show it. We're probably gonna do another one. I hope you guys like this video. I know it has been all over the place. I am definitely happy with how it went and I hope you guys are happy with this video. Um, definitely, like I said, make sure you guys check out my Instagram story because I am going to do another one of these. So if you are anywhere in the Florida area, even if it's like a two hour drive, I knew somebody who came in from Miami, that's four hour drive from there. So, I mean, it's definitely worth it for the steals. If you guys are in the Florida area, specifically like Southwest Florida, so Tampa kind of area, and you guys want to shop my appointment, I'm doing appointments now for my storage unit. I'm actually going to get the one directly next to this one as well. I just have to fill the paperwork tomorrow. So I'm going to have two of these completely filled to the brand with stuff. And I'm looking to fill up appointments. If you guys want to check, we can come chat it up, film videos if you're comfortable with it. Um, but for real, I just love looking like meet a ton of people in the Florida area who also fuck with vintage. That's pretty much it guys. I don't really have much else to say other than check out my Instagram, TikTok, like the video, subscribe, do all those fun YouTube things. And thank you guys for being so lit.